I certainly think that businesses have gone a really long way to to making sure they've got enough women in leadership roles and certainly at Diageo actually our board is 64% women and our exec is over 50% women so come an incredibly long way in the last decade to making sure that representation is right at the most senior levels. The ad industry often talks about how even though there may be many women at an agency or a brand, there remains a lack of representation at the top. So why do you think that is? From the data, um, I think in our agencies, we still have a way to go. So the data that I have seen says about 50% of um, entry level roles are women. But once you get to the board, that's less than 20%. And so clearly there's some dropout happening. Um, by women agency side, which is a real challenge um, and something that we're working really hard with our agency network to try to overcome. About five years ago, we became um, part of the Unstereotype Alliance. And at that point, our CMO, Sil Sala, wrote to all of our agencies, uh, actually asking for full transparency over gender diversity within the agency and what the gender pay gap was as well within the agencies. And that had a huge impact in showing the agencies that what our expectations would be of them as well to work with us. Do you think that the work that Johnny Walker produces is different from its competitors because it's a brand led by a woman? And if so, in what ways? I don't think anybody deliberately sets out to stereotype or to cast women in the wrong roles or anything like that. But I think that unconscious bias is a huge, huge part. Um, regardless whether we like it or not, it's a huge part of everybody. We trained all of our marketers on progressive portrayal so that people are actively looking out for, are we representing women in the right way? Are they being shown in non-traditional roles, etc.? About only 7% of uh, advertising directors are women. Um, but on the Diageo Reel last year, 45% of our advertising production was directed by a woman. You're obviously a woman in a high position in what's typically a male dominated category. How has that impacted your experience and what have you learned? If I'm honest, within Diageo, I feel that doors have been opened for me. I haven't had to bash really hard to knock down doors, but I think I've been lucky to be in a business and in an industry that recognised the need to transform at the time that I was also De developing and establishing myself in my career. Being able to see people who you believe you could be, um, people like you in, in the more senior roles who, when they returned from parental leave, worked flexibly for a while and who trailblazed the way and who were able to show the business that they could make it work. I think it's things like that that have made the difference actually in women being able to have successful you know, big careers um, within what are very traditional industries and have in the past been more male dominated. What are some of the barriers women in creative roles face that are not always discussed? Big and obvious one is a lot of that mid-career dropout is happening after women have had a break from work. That might be parental leave or it might be leave for other reasons and drivers of that are really difficult to get childcare, really difficult to work flexibly, um, that perhaps people are looking after their parents actually, and all of a sudden they find themselves squeezed between, you know, responsibilities at home to the older generation and, and to, to, to a younger generation. On top of that, one of the things that I really, I speak to a lot of women about is, I think just crises of confidence. I think especially after you've had a break, um, it's easy to lose confidence in, you know, in yourself, in the work that you're doing. It can be hard to keep up with the industry. We move at a real pace. They do need those allies to help, you know, bring them back on track, help get upskill them as they're thinking about making a return to work. So how do you think that the industry can make progress in supporting women in creative leadership roles? And what specific solutions would you like to see? It feels like there has started to become a groundswell 
in progressive policy making in the last couple of years, which has been absolutely brilliant to see. And I'd like to see more and more of that as we go forward. I'm talking about things like um, you know, menopause support. I'm talking about things like extended parental leave. We've just launched some um, a fertility leave in the UK for people who are undergoing fertility treatment. So, you know, really opening policy to being much more geared up to supporting women in the workplace uh, can only be a really positive thing. And I really want to see big businesses, little businesses, agencies, all going after policy to make sure that they are creating inclusive environments that, that women can be really successful in.